So I was saying earlier that I was getting really bored of the Ami Leon Dawn New Balance five, uh, sorry, six fifties or the, even the five fifties that shape overall, just getting tired of it. And then you see it on the front cover of Jack Harlow's album, well, he's up and coming, up and coming out. He's wearing a pair of five five fifties or me five five zeros. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Most likely he's going to put a bump in the sales of these shoes, so we're going to see them even more. And it's like enough already, man, enough. But maybe I'm maybe I'm the one that's the uh, maybe I'm the exception in this in that I'm the only one that maybe doesn't want to see them. Everyone else does. Might be too short. <clears throat> Let's get them up on the screen. So this is the pair. It's courtesy of high piece and it's sorry, it's courtesy of high snobiety. And this is the following. Uh let's get them up on here. Sorry, not M550. There's just I'm in Dior's New Balance 650 RS again. Um total basketball shoe. It says it as follows. Brand a million Dior and New Balance. The model is a 650R. A release date is April 19th. Price $165, which isn't too bad. It says the follows. <laughs> So it says the following um a surprise non 5550 new balance offering on april 7th a million dollars back um teasing us again with a new balance 650r collab these aren't the a million door 550s everyone's been waiting for but they'll have to do for now so in some weird twist of event they've decided to put out the highs before they put out the lows hmm i wonder why interesting choice in it you would imagine but anyway, we continue um it says the 650s aren't entirely new save the fresh red colorway as the green gray and navy options dropped pre-order in july 2021 so only one colorway is brand new okay what's the point of that showing up the collab latest rollout for a 650r simply marks the shoe's official launch since its pre-order they've been fucking no a eh? million dollar like the they're definitely the newer version of flipping Vince. I mean, they're so long-winded and <coughs> unnecessary in their flipping drops in it 2021 and the only other color is coming out only now i wonder if that's to do with the whole like um thing going on with covid with the uh what's that term they use about you know when they can't ship things to certain places and things are stuck in flipping containers in different places i wonder if that's an issue supply chain was that you reckon it's a supply chain issue? Because that's a bit weird, isn't it? The other colorways come out in 2021 and this final colorway is only coming out now. Like, God damn. But because people like hype so much, there's so many adult hype beasts out there, they're definitely still going to sell out. It says as follows. While Emmy Leon Dor New Balance 650R is obviously not the collab 550s we all want, it definitely channels the big 5550 energy. So, 550 energy, not 5550. Um, with its simplistic color palette and overall shape. I wonder, is it blasphemy to say that most likely, because of Ami Leon Dor's Ami Leon Dor's price point, even though they have very young, youthful energy about it, it's definitely a brand for old people who want to pretend like they're young, isn't it? It feels like it. You know, like you know like those older dudes that wear palace, <clears throat> non non ironically. Like, cause it's, you know, you still want to feel like you're one of the kids that like you're down and everything, or you wear polo cause you want to feel down with the kids or whatever new trendy brand is out there that exists. Maybe that's the same thing with, um, AOD, these older dudes who don't mind, who, who can't afford to drop a thousand quid on a flipping cardigan are the only ones that are going to be able to afford the cardigan because of the high price point. And it's also going to afford them the opportunity to look cool and down with the kids because, you know, you can't wear a you can't wear a l d clothes without looking youthful without putting on a bucket hat a bucket hat sorry and rolling up your trousers and having a carabiner hanging off your jeans and you know talking in that weird hipster voice i don't know you know what i mean maybe that's the case with it but i just i don't get it personally i think it's fine don't get me wrong it's cool it's very well presented it sort of looks like the it's perfection really in terms of their ability to construct and put together garments but i just don't get the um, fanfare around it personally it just doesn't necessarily it's as much as it's impressive to look at or to the eye i don't feel like it's really really ultimately desirable in a weird way does that make any sense it just doesn't seem like a brand you want to cover it looks good. Line sheets look amazing. Great look books. Those two black models they use, they they wear the clothes fucking perfect. They're the perfect muses for the brand, for sure. But in terms of it being 
clothing that you just can't not have in your life like you have to get the new aod i don't think if it i don't think it bangs the same way like noah does even though noah's stuff isn't as good as it was when they first started or maybe in a few years ago it's kind of gone downhill a bit i still feel like noah is still more covetable it's still something people want to save up for or they're sitting at home waiting for the new collection to drop because they want to get that anorak or they want to get that you know gile or they want to get a pair of shorts whatever but i don't see the same thing happen with ald maybe i'm looking too deep into it. i'm not really too sure but i just feel like there's a lot of i don't know a lot of fugazi going on with that brand personally but maybe i'm reading too much into it and anyway, it continues it says the 650r sneaker features the collaboration snee signature mesh leather clutch on the upper resting upon a rubber outsole the shoes oozes cozy cozy vibe and i'm talking um um, aesthetically and physically the 650r's plush um, high top ankle appears to supply immense comfort while the shoes eva cups or guarantees support gear during a daily flex or game time is it blasphemy you know what i just thought of is it blasphemy to say that aod for me is like a more sophisticated version of sporty and rich like that sporty and rich girl actually had good taste and could actually has talent if she actually had talent to design good things and actually had you know a high level of taste and maybe put some actual money into producing high quality garments maybe it could look as good as aod but aod maybe is the is the boss is the final boss of sporty and rich type people like you know the kind of person that'll stand next to a range rover they don't own because it's got it's green with brown interior you know what i mean like i don't know man i don't know i don't know just something about it and the fact that they just keep turning out these same fucking dead new bands i'm like yeah, come on enough brothers anyway speaking of game time the ld um 650rs arrives just on time to collab with the Masaryk community gym which was announced in the public on the 7th april 8th 17th with a mural by jacob rochester i don't know where that is is that in new york or something i'm not really too sure i'm not going to click the link because my computer's gonna crash um fellow a million your fans will know i've gotten your hopes up twice now but sure enough the aod new balance 650 r's isn't to be slept on <clears throat> just think of it like this now your 550s won't be alone you do Bro, imagine writing this type of copy professionally you won't be lonely your shoes won't be lonely are you having are you having me on mate are you really having me on anyway um they're gonna be out soon if you want them you know keep an eye out if you don't i guess don't is what it is isn't it what do i know what do i 